What's up, Jay family? Back again with another video, and this is with Fortnite, man. Fortnite, I say a legend. Definitely top. He's top five. Um, mistake that cost Myth his career. I want. I didn't even know. I don't know what happened. So let's get into it. I want to know. Let's go. The viral Fortnite if you, videos if you on YouTube Fortnite, you and know Twitch. Thing. However, over the last couple months, his YouTube views have dropped dramatically. His streams aren't performing as well, and he's unknowingly been killing his YouTube channel and career overall. I think I'm just gonna ignore it from now on. I think that's the best way to deal with it. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. If my stream is unwatchable, then why are you watching it? Or how are you watching it if it's unwatchable, bud? Come on, use that big brain. Unwatchable stream, but he's still watching. Well, face. How does that work? What? Unwatchable, but you watching? What? Today, we're going to talk about all the reasons why Myth is losing steam and the biggest mistake he's made as a content creator. And I swear, we're going to get into every single reason for his mm. downfall, including the specific video that negatively changed his reputation forever. But it's very important we talk about his coming first for everything something. to make sense. So just bear with me. And mm. I promise by the end of this video, Myth's career falling off will make complete sense to you. Yeah. Just a year ago, Myth was a nobody. He would stream very niche games such as Smite for only a handful of people hours a day. This time last year, he only made about 6,000 views in an entire month of YouTube, according to his social blade. He went from having absolutely nothing to be one of the top stars on the web in a matter yeah, of a couple of months. So what are the things that can be attributed to his success? This one may sound kind of like a no-brainer, but Fortnite, Fortnite is definitely the key factor to his success. Definitely. Myth was set up to ride the hype train surrounding any new game. Even when he was only streaming for a few people, he had everything he needed to be successful. He had solid stream graphics, a good looking setup with all the necessary equipment to put on a high quality stream, Everybody cameras and other accessories. On top of that, he was really good at about any game he played. Check enough, out this really old clip I found in his stream. I'm getting a chair. <laughs> Lol, he didn't get any weapons. <laughs> Why'd you just give yourself up? I don't team, cuz. No. There's no love. He got all that equipment. <laughs> Damn, he must have been had some money then. I know that stuff on cheap. There ain't no love. Let's go! When Fortnite Battle Royale released, it took over the internet. And so did Myth. Fortnite was a phenomenon, and in terms of views and potential growth, the gaming scene on both YouTube and Twitch had never seen anything like it before. The demand for Fortnite content was very high. Everybody from ages 5 to 30 was going crazy over every little bit of Fortnite action. YouTubers could post 20 minute videos of them playing a single game of Fortnite and get millions of views in the early days of Fortnite. It really wasn't that hard to impress people as well. It Myth wasn't. used to be regarded as the best builder to have ever played, and building is one of the biggest aspects of Fortnite. Fortnite. Because he had that title, it really helped him reach success in the game. Nowadays, due to the game being optimized much better, console players getting new build button maps such as Builder yeah. Pro, and due to people wanting to get better at the game because of how popular it is, it's a lot harder to impress people these days. If yeah. you've been following Myth for a while, I guarantee that you'll recognize some of these clips. These are clips that went super viral, and I believe they were some of the clips that put him on the map. They're also a really good representation of what was considered impressive back then, versus what's considered impressive now. Check it out. Everybody cool now, kind of. Make them dance. Hey, he survived that. You had to have quick fingers, bro, to play this on PC. Way back in December and January, when Myth first started to blow up, this clip was considered to be one of the most epic mm. build battles to have ever been posted online. We all know that by today's standards of gameplay, it really isn't anything that special, Dang. but back then, this clip shocked people. So at this point, Myth's only competition views-wise was Ninja, yeah. and he was considered even better than Ninja by the majority of the community. Almost uh, every day, there was a new clip of Myth going viral, and as the clip got shared more, it would give him an extra boost on all his social media. This was the trend for all of Myth's social medias for the longest time. Myth would obliterate somebody in a public 
public match. The clip would go viral once again. Everybody online would be talking about it and Myth would gain subscribers, followers, etc. So when did Myth's ability to become a trending topic begin to die? Why did he stop impressing people? What did he do wrong and how could he turn it around? Well, during the winter months, Epic Games was hard at work finding a way to develop a competitive scene for Fortnite. And suddenly, Myth had some competition. Now, let's get into the downward spiral of TSM Myth. Thank you very much, Jess. Do we have any Myth fans in the house? I think I'm a lot of my ears. Myth, let's talk about what happened in this game. So as the competitive scene for Fortnite what? began to develop, the Fortnite community began to get exposure to a lot of fresh faces and very talented. Oh, you gonna hit me with a commercial, really? 25 million years ago, a new species appeared. What the on heck? <laughs> talented players. The competitive scene for Fortnite used to be a very small niche. Lots of very popular competitive gaming websites such as MLG Game Battles, CMG, and UMG Events began hosting what is called wager matches. All of these websites mainly hosted wager matches for games such as Call of Duty, Halo, H1Z1 before Fortnite. And when they saw how successful Fortnite was becoming, they decided to start hosting Fortnite games as well. The way a wager match works is a group of players would create a team, post mm -hmm. a match, and then another group of players would have to accept that match. Then the two groups would go into a game and play. Whichever player or team had the most kills at the end of the game wins. This isn't really how traditional esports have ever worked. Traditionally, an esports game mode focuses heavily on team cooperation and strategy to achieve victory, but because Fortnite is so unique and it doesn't have much in common with any other games that were being played in the competitive scene at the time, yeah, it no. sort of became the wild west of competitive gaming. Aside from grabbing a wager match for a few dollars on one of these third-party sites, there really wasn't much of a competitive scene. However, even though the future of Fortnite competitive gaming was very unclear, organizations began picking up players and building pro rosters, which fed the hype for Fortnite and pushed people who wanted to become pro players to get better and better. People began putting in more effort in their social medias and working harder to become a big name like Myth. Everybody wanted to see Myth compete in a LAN event with all the other big names in the community. Everybody was Dang. convinced that Myth was the best player in the game, if not the best. Mm. Until, well, he started competing in LAN events. Once actual Fortnite tournaments began happening and hundreds of players began showing up at the single events, people started to see that Myth really wasn't the best player ever. Don't get me wrong, I definitely think he's a really great pro player yeah. and he does deserve respect for the skill he has in the game. But he I can confidently say that I he's not the five. best. Myth's skill was definitely lacking, and it wasn't until land tournaments began to occur that people saw how he performed when he's pitted in a death match against yeah. some of the best players in the world. He I mean, not people showed up good. to these tournaments that could build like this. The cape is actually amazing. Yeah. Whoa. What the heck? <laughs> oh, okay. All right. I've never seen a base be built quicker. That was impressive. See, he's just, he's going straight towards this guy. He yeah. just doesn't care. What? Oh, no oh way, God. bro. Dude, I love these builds. It's crazy. All right, I gotta practice. Look at that editing, though. This guy's insane. He is. I just, I don't, I can't keep up. Like he's just. My like, brain can't function. <laughs> oh. I can never oh. see him losing. I can uh, never see him losing. Okay, so apparently this is not five skill. This is like <laughs> his social blade even reflects wow. the statement, showing that the peak of his channel growth was during the same month of the big tournament where he choked hard. However, that he is the biggest choke problem hard. I that, saw that factored into Myth's downfall. Don't get me wrong, a lot of people definitely stopped watching him when they saw he wasn't as good as they thought he was. But there's actually something a lot worse that Myth did than perform badly in tournaments. But we'll get into that in yeah, just a second. Yeah, that's not how you lose. Next, people. we're going to talk about Fortnite in its early stages. So when Fortnite was in its early stages, the potential growth was insane. As the competitive scene began to develop and more and more streamers switched into Fortnite, the community began to get very saturated with content and personalities. Now that Myth's reputation was a little damaged, a lot of his followers began to expand their search for content. On top of that, Fortnite reached its peak in terms of popularity online. So at that point, viewers were beginning to disperse amongst a lot of creators and someone like Myth was beginning to lose viewership to other content oh, creators oh, since there weren't enough new viewers to compensate for the viewers Myth was losing. Other streamers were given a chance to grow and they took advantage of it. It makes sense. There's a lot more people streaming the game, more people getting better and better yeah. and if Myth's reputation of being the best was no longer the case what's stopping people from finding someone else to watch mm -hmm. not only that but with the addition of builder pro being added to console console players began being able to compete with pc players yeah. and the fact that myth was on a pc became less of an advantage ah that makes sense oh oh i'm so mad it took that away i used to love double pump Dang, that's done. Dang. On top of that, other players such as FaZe Cloak and Tifu absolutely dominated the tournament scene, winning Friday Fortnite four times in the span of a couple of months. I'd say that Tifu stole the crown from Myth when it came to skill. Mm. 
Boom. Haha, <laughs> that was clean. <laughs> Suddenly at the same time, misreputation became less notorious. There were other names coming up in the Fortnite community. Other people were stealing the community hype, and Myth became very stagnant in terms of growth. About five months ago, before the competitive scene began to form, and before other streamers began to pick up steam, Myth could post any video and get 1 to 2 million views simply because he was above average skill and there weren't many content creators to compete with him. He'd post stream yeah. highlights or full gameplays like many popular players do, and he'd get views because people simply wanted to watch him play. It wasn't until the incident in Vegas where we saw a dramatic decrease in his views. The hype for Myth was dying a lot, and clips were going viral of him less and less, and players like Tifu would begin to shine through and they were the ones getting the viral clips instead, which led to even less viewership flooding into his channel, which made it die even more. But even all this isn't the worst thing that Myth did. The next thing we're going to talk about is the did. fatal mistake he made after his decline began, and a specific clip that was very instrumental in his downfall. But real quick, I've got a challenge for you guys, and you only have 5 seconds to accomplish it. Drop a like and subscribe, and if you're able oh, to accomplish the it in the next no. 5 seconds, then you will have 5 years of incredible luck. Just the luckiest things will start happening to you, so just trust me, try it. It really works, and let's get back into the video. Yo, what is up guys? It's Myth here, and I just want to say that this video is going to be sponsored by Rainbow Six. Rainbow Six is going to be free to play August 16th to 19th, so go ahead and check it out then. For more info, click the link in the description below. Rainbow Six go R. Oh, oh, nice. What did I, how did I do, dude? What did I? Oh my God! I'm 11 and two. I'm a god. Woo. If you would have told me that Myth would start streaming games other than Fortnite anytime soon, I probably never would have believed you. However, Myth began playing other games on streams such as Rainbow Six Siege. On top of that, it's he old. also did disclose that the Rainbow Six videos on his YouTube channel and his stream were in fact sponsored by the game. So financially, I think Myth was playing it safe here. He knew that his views were going down, and if he wanted to keep his income somewhat consistent, he'd need to find a way to make up for those lost views. Sponsorships are a great way to do exactly that, but I think in the long run, making sponsored videos and doing sponsored streams for games that aren't Fortnite could hurt him, and it's not even necessarily his fault. If you're known for something, whether it's a game or a style of video, and then you totally change it up, not as many people are going to be drawn in. So yeah. taking his social media presence down the path of variety gaming could be very dangerous for him. It makes sense that his viewers wouldn't want to watch him play Rainbow Six. Rainbow Six is a competitive first-person shooter that mm. is built around teamwork and slow-paced strategical yeah. gameplay. It's the opposite of Fortnite, down to the core of how the game plays. Fortnite yeah. is very fast-paced, and depending on the player's reaction time, can be played very recklessly without much punishment. In Fortnite, if you run out in the open and get shot at, you have the ability to build walls to protect yourself and not take much damage. In this Rainbow game. Six, you die extremely yeah. fast and the smallest mistake could cost your life. The yep. games are worlds apart and really don't cater to the same audiences. So yes, Myth got a really good paycheck for taking on the Rainbow Six sponsorship. Another commercial. <laughs> they want you, they getting their money, huh? Vaping can deliver... Uh. What the heck is wrong with him? Sponsorship, but in the long run, he ended up losing more loyal fans and more loyal viewers by straying away from what people want to see from him. Change isn't always a bad thing, but in this case, I think Myth is on the fast track to killing his career. If you look at his social blade, you'll see that he's having his worst month ever on YouTube since his blow up in both categories of views and subscribers gained. And there's simply too much evidence supporting that posting games that aren't Fortnite is hurting him badly. Nowadays, he's lucky to pull 500,000 views in a day when he used to pull quadruple that on a single video. But the next question is which video specifically killed his career and can he recover from it you guys besides ninja i think tonight the one guy everybody's been waiting to see play is tsm myth over here how are you feeling coming into this final heat trying to destroy ninja i feel really really confident in my ability i thought to he would that beat task. him so the main feeling that I'm really, i was like super anxious i just want to get up there and just like play like <laughs> never mind that this interview let me just on there you know that, those are my feelings pretty much so uh out of these next three games how many do you think you're gonna win what I really, really want to do is like minimum two. Like I want to win minimum two games and go for the two for. But uh, I think I could s s definitely get one. So that clip was taken from a pregame show at the event in Las Vegas that Ninja hosted. You can't tell me that kill him. Myth was very confident in himself. Yeah. Now watch what happens at the event. To, yeah, he loud. He got whooped. I saw this whole. So I saw that he got whooped. He did not play good. The early, I was gonna play the high ground yep, early. Fell down. And then. But, yeah, so, well, and then, so then I got the yeah, position. Yeah, I saw that. 
I got the position that I wanted it. Fill all. I wanted. I wasn't contesting. Everybody was shot. And then, uh, as the circle kind of shifted away from the hill, I decided to. Uh, we had to. There was a player playing underneath me, so we got into a little skirmish. Oh, and then like, off wow. the side of the hill, I like encountered one of the rarest bugs in the game, which is like when you make an edit or like build something, it'll just fling you off. <laughs> and so that happened, and it was really unfortunate. You know what? Epic probably heard how confident you were prior to this heat Epic starting, and they just wanted to handicap you. Yeah, but I get down to it. Like, I get, I, it's not even like a good fight or anything. I just died to a bug. Like, it's unfortunate, but that's the name of the, like, it's early access, so. The real question is, how okay. can Myth bounce back? He's lost his reputation as the best builder in the game. He's continuously choked at every single From one of these events he's attended. Fortnite isn't quite as popular as it used to be a few months ago, and he's being viewed as a sellout for accepting sponsorships from other games. Here's the solution that I've out, cooked though. up based on the knowledge that I know about the Fortnite community and years of being a YouTuber myself. I think that rather than trying to expand his reach, Myth should really focus on his community. I think he should embrace Fortnite as- Yeah, he, he started out on Fortnite, so I understand he kind of stuck a little bit until the next big thing comes out as much as he can and mainly focus on getting better at the game and regaining that title of being the best builder or best Fortnite player. It's very common for pro gamers to suffer skill-wise because they spend too much time focusing on content and not getting better at the game. Shroud is a really great example of this. Shroud was one of the best North American CSGO players to ever compete internationally and when he started to see financial potential of becoming a full-time streamer rather than solely a pro Counter-Strike player, he decided to retire and focus on his stream. So I guess I could talk about it a little bit. It's not much to talk about really. Uh, I messaged Jack and I was like, hey, Jack's the owner of Cena, by the way. I was like, hey, uh, I kind of want to step down. I would love to be your guys' backup. I want to see where full-time stream takes me. And he was super supportive. He's like, let's do it. Let's make it happen. And here we are. 15 second that story. <laughs> he stated before in interviews that streaming and being entertaining took too much time away from practicing the game like he used to and reflected in his performance on stage when competing. So I think in Myth's case, when he initially blew up, he was considered as one of the best players out there. Then when Fortnite continued to evolve and change, he didn't change with it. He didn't try as hard as he could have to keep up with the competition and spent too much time casually playing the game and streaming. I don't think Myth should retire from content creation or playing other games altogether, but I do think wow. he should dedicate some more time to getting better at the game. Yeah, Even if he sense. streams a little bit less for a period of time to focus on getting better, it will be worth it in the long run if he can go to events and roll through with other pro players and do really well. Obviously, his situation isn't exactly the same as Shroud's, but I think they are comparable, and at the end of the day, I think Myth just struggles between trying to consistently reach the demand for content his viewers have and setting aside the time to focus on his skills at Fortnite and be on the level of other pro players at today's standards. If he can solve this problem, I think that it'll help his career out a lot. Before yeah. I wrap up this video, I do want to say that I don't want Myth's career to die. I would love to see Myth reignite his social media fire and really know his dying. But the fact of the matter is that he's gonna have to change something up before that can happen. And I don't think that oh, 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 games to appeal to other nice. audiences broader oh, than Fortnite is necessarily the way to go for him. So what do you guys think about the rise oh, he and fall of Myth? Do you still enjoy watching him? How much do you watch? Him. Let me know that in the wow. comments. It's been Exility. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have an amazing day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace. Wow. Hey, he got him. If you like tech, I didn't know his crew was dying. I guess it was. But yeah, I did see him in that tournament. I mean, I whooped. Yeah, he did not show up at the, the, with the one with Ninja hosting. He did not show up. Ninja didn't even show up either. Ninja only won one at his own tournament. So I. I think I watch Ninja. I think he the he's in my in my opinion. I like Ninja the best. I don't know why. I just like him. I just like how he plays it. But I like Ninja the best. And then Myth is like my third favorite. I think yeah, third favorite. But subscribe for more content. Hit that like button if you like the video. Comment. Comment what y'all think. Who's y'all favorite Fortnite player? And what y'all think about this whole situation? If you play, if you play Fortnite, then you definitely know who that is. You know who Myth is. So just comment what y'all think about the situation. Um, and what other, what other reactions you want me to do? What other challenges y'all want me to do? And I got you. And I'm out. Love and blessings. Peace. I know you're